and welcome back to Fatal Frame. On our way to solve a puzzle. And that's just the door that's currently sealed. You know what else I there's bloody, like, streak prints on the wall, like someone dragged their hand? Yeah. There are buttons with characters. This device must open the door. There is an engraving underneath, but it's gouge. Can only read some. I can just barely make out. The Shinto ritual, strangling, and held on the day off in the gouge out words. Now, we had a document, actually a couple documents, that said December 13th was important. But as you can see here, this is Japanese. Or at the very least, not English or Arabic numerals. No, this might take a couple of tries. I remember the trick to it, because just a hint, this is a zero. But don't remember if it was counterclockwise or clockwise. Let's try one. Nope. Also no. Oh, I wonder if it wants it in European style. Alright, so it's counterclockwise European. Got it. Girl pointing. She is our hint ghost of hints. Oh yes, I am searching the room for everything. Shinies! Herbs. I don't remember if this game actually put shinies on every possible item, or if it's just... Feel the powerful presence. Seductress. And the talisman that was on that door evaporates. But now the worst one of the worst things about this game, goddamn ladders. She climbs them like half a mile a minute, a, a hour, and you have no control over which direction she goes. And she can. And the hit boxes on them are dumb. Oh, hey, there is one. The disaster called the calamity. Long ago, great tragedy struck this region. One legend calls this event the Calamity, but reveals no detail regarding the disaster which unfolded. A brief description of the event is as follows. The mirrors, kept in the five shrines, broke, and the dead returned from hell. I wonder what sort of disaster it must have been, because the passage can't be literal. Hey, guess what? <laughs> it's literal. That is a light bulb. You can't fool me. I always find it kind of weird, because it's like, you see these, and these are like, ye ancient Japanese buildings. But there was an attempt to put electricity in. Now, I don't know the exact date on, you know, when electricity got introduced to Japan. Or even when, like, the first time this hellhole was inhabited was. But, I mean, I guess you could argue that because it said there was the folklorist who lived here at one point. I mean, he could have made attempts. No more talisman. Yeah. Anyway. And that's blood. 
And that is another talisman. That is a child screaming. That shows a water wheel. Wonder where that is. Skagat. Mm, but she's still here. What are you trying to say? Shane. There are several people. Ah, uh, goddammit. Oh, another one from. This is Mr. Takaminas, if you haven't figured that out yet. September 13th, 3 p.m. Tomoe's condition is getting worse and worse. She can't stop shaking and keeps mumbling the same words over and over. I don't know if what's happening is anything supernatural or not, but in any case, I think we better leave as soon as possible. You've been here for like three goddamn days. <laughs> Tomoe is in such bad shape, she can't even move. I guess I'll have to look for a way out of here, here myself. Why not the front door? Even if we wanted, waited for help, I doubt anyone would ever come looking for us. Yeah, he will in two weeks. And then he'll go missing for two weeks. And then another talisman. Sorry, wrong button. Some other place. Looks like a doll stand with some child hiding behind it. Yep, yep. Out we go. Following the Tory gates to a shrine with a shiny on it. No, woman. Stop. Get the shiny. There's an audio tape. September 11th, 8.16 p.m. We looked all over the mansion, but we still couldn't find Koji. While true that this mansion is huge, I'm certain we would have found him by now. Could we have already left? He's been saying something about more ropes since we took some photos yesterday. You will hear that creepy ass whispering in the background? It's amazing. Cause the first time I played it was like on an actual, you know, TV at w in the living room with a nice, decent space. So, it's interesting, because now I'm noticing details I didn't notice before. A little gravestone. Oh, I wonder which way we're supposed to go. Woman in Atrium. It's over here. Why, yes, it is a tombstone, Miku. That's your name, by the way. Miku! You will appear in a couple of other games. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh look, it's a water wheel and a cassette. Anyway, I'm not going to pick that up just yet. There's actually a fun little series of games called Monster Rancher. It was for PlayStation and PlayStation 2. And there was a few, like, Game Boy Advance and DS ones, I think. But it had this neat little concept. The garden, but it was lit. Or it's not lit right now. Can't do a damn thing about that. Anyway, where it, the con at least for the console versions, it was you could insert a game, another game, into the CD drive, and it would produce a monster. And I don't remember which one it was. I think it might have been four, three or four. But if you put Fatal Frame in, you would get Miku as a monster. And you can bet your damn ass I played that.
Woman pulled in. Oh, that was the picture I was supposed to take for that one door. Anyway. Yes, yes, on to the sparkly. Gabby Magoo, I'd like to add you to my collection of dead people. Oh. I'm sorry, you just saw your assistant just get murdered by a ghost, and all you have to say is, oh. September 12th, 9 a.m. I found Koji. His death was just like the one in the mountain village. His head and limbs were severed. I can't believe what's happening. Neither can I. Huh. I actually thought there was going to be a fight there, but mm, let's be later. Onward to adventure. And this door is now unsealed. Ooh. That's not the same color as the door. Woman turning. Let's hit her. Because, of course, my instant reaction is to not go for the child onlooker, which undoes the talisman for the other door. Oh, and it triggers a fight. Whoops. God damn it. <laughs> Giggling! I bet let's not play. Maybe go back in your closet. Yeah, the kids and that long arm man are a side story that will not be further explored until later. Oh good, her little bob, orb, whatever, stayed. Kyrie. Yeah, that's a ghost. I'm assuming of the big bad, since that was the one she was seeing. And there's a shiny over here. September 12th, 1.45 p.m. My sixth sense is telling me some children are playing here. I can't see them, but they keep calling to me. Are they playing tag? Or hide and seek, maybe? They might be the children in that photo. September 12th, 4.30 p.m. There were human heads in that room. So many of them. They were cut off by the Humura family master. They were all trying to tell me something. 
I should I never should have come here. I should have trusted that sick sense of mine. Well, to be fair, you were just following the, your boss that you have a crush on. You didn't actually think it was going to be anything. And welcome to the bane of my goddamn existence. Yes, yes. The Broken Neck Woman. She's a pretty common random encounter. Though that one was, of course, scripted. Back off, woman. Oh, fuck you. Get out of my way. Oh, God, fuck you. Fuck you and all your children. All three of them. One of the best strategies for fighting an egos, get some damn space and move your tits. Like. And one nice little cushion that they removed is the ability to spam shots. In this game, you miss, you can just try again. It won't have the full charge, but if you get a shutter chance, most of the time, it puts, stuns them. However, in subsequent games, they added a reload function, or I'm just going to call it a mechanic, because I've been calling everything that one, right? But anyway, it essentially, you take a picture, you have to wait a few seconds before you can take another one, which is kind of a pain in the goddamn ass. Man turning. Something shining. It's a lighter and a notebook. September fourteenth, ten AM. That woman that Tomoe called Kirie looks just like the descriptions of the rope shrine maiden in the legends, and there's a strong resemblance too between the way Tomoe and Agata died and the manner of the deaths in the folklore. So that woman is the rope shrine maiden, is she? Yep. And she's pissed. Hmm. We'll follow her next time. See you later.